life bent by the bat demonic Quick as death, every breath that taste makes me sick It's only so long I can sit among shit Only so many times I can be kicked before I split So I'll see you later, maybe down the road a bit I won't get too far if I come before I totally I'll be racking the mic for too long before I lose all of it I won't be answering the call along before my car will rip But no! Every wound can be healed, every poison has an antidote That saliva has been proven to aid and drink made us grow By quickly dissolving clots and allowing the blood to flow Dead of night, hungry for a snack. On your way to the kitchen, you notice the rest of your family in the living room. But there's something wrong. As you walk closer, you realize that their faces are missing. In their place are computer screens. What you thought was your family are actually robots. Turning towards you, they exclaim in unison. As they aim their laser guns at you, you must make a split decision. To turn and run outside the safety, skip to chapter four. If you refuse to be displaced from your home by machinery, turn to chapter six. You are humble. You deny your dark origin. <sighs> when you try to explain the situation, the officer quickly deems you criminally insane. As you were shackled and dragged away, kicking and screaming, he gleefully taunts you. I attach myself to you, plug myself in and push it through. Now I tell you just what to do. No one will know what we're up to. Let me in now, I won't move. Now I live inside of you. You follow my instructions, true. Yeah, me and you are stuck like glue. What do you do with a drunken sailor? Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Put him in the hole with the captain's daughter. Way ahead of she rises. What do you do with a drunken sailor? To travel, staring into the blankness of the shadow, thinking about all the past lost battle, feeling as though they're both trapped in the saddle. But then, out of the darkness, a spot became visible. A mythical specter read to read the physical. A flame grew into the form of a child, extending his palm, in which he held two vials. Some of these he said, it will end all your pain. Hastily both submitted and drank, then looked around at the surrounding clouds of light mountain, erupted into a bounded fountain. What you see is energy, explained the ghost. It was always right there, you just didn't know. Reach out and grab it, bend it into any shape. Anything you can dream, you can create. So the stallion stood on his two hind legs Been a check out of the skies, but his wings and flew away And the man teleported to a land woman sunny With naked playboy bunnies and no use for money Suddenly, lost man look around To find themselves on the ground Still stuck in the wild The child, no, an obese man, still remains Feeding on the energy of the waves of their brain If I were to tell you a secret could be clear Because you stick it in your pockets Lock it, lock it up and walk in If I saw you in the morning Could you act like nothing happened? Scrap the past As you near a scary looking maximum security prison, you make a final vain attempt at communicating with your captor to convince him that you're no criminal, that you're just lost. Hey man, Mac, what's up? How 
How's it going? I'm good. Now I swear that I was about those. Take a seat. I was talking to her. She said, ha ha ha, nice shirt. Thanks, blah blah blah. You're my friend. I love you. No, I didn't mean it like that. I meant it like, oh, you know, never mind. Wanna drink? I was thinking. Do you agree? My advice is whatever. I'm gonna go. Goodbye. Hello. Rabble, mangled, muddled, and mucked up. I woke alone, shell shocked, and locked up. Tangled in a whirlwind world. Pursuing, and I can feel it as a thing I'm supposed to be doing. I'm a transitory part on a star, a little man. Push the pictures on as far as I can. But the grip of my troubling hand crushes the rock into dust and sand. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you know where I'm from? Dysnomia! I was born and raised in Dysnomia! You better watch your back in Dysnomia! Yo, I represent Dysnomia! Let's go to have you seen, remember when I think you're fine Who is? I wanna, you better watch out for What's a what would you like? You should have you ever thought Sometimes I can't think of the right thing to say Where did you, if you want you live, listen to it, you mind if I Wonder why, how about my head, like I thought I would rather Oh my god, I don't you ever hear that I really wish that I could Perhaps there's something's better left unexplained The snake that I claim is dysnomia My hometown, Babylonia But dysnomia, I live and die From the start to the end of my life I was the plaintiff in my prosecution Sentenced to death by circumlocution As I take the long walk and got get to the prison is locked up too Friends, family, strangers and you And dysnomia It's like a jungle sometimes It's dysnomia Yeah we eat the young It's dysnomia I've been running for days But no matter how far I go I can't seem to escape It's dysnomia But it is all to no avail. Exhausted from your adventure, you collapse onto a lumpy cot. As you drift off into dreams, you toss and turn. To sleep on your back, turn to chapter 4. To sleep on your side, turn to chapter 12. You find that the neighborhood has somehow been transformed into a toiling mass of spirits, colors, voices, and sensations. The trees call to you to come near. The pavement screams in agony as Crane's vehicle stampede over it. Dizzy and perplexed at your new surroundings, you slowly venture forward into the chaos. Somewhere upon the horizon of nostalgic afterthoughts We encounter an army of overclock fathers Cracky whip upon his slaves No blowers plowing through just thought it the free slashy time Water the blower shiny side mounted elephants Now setting up white powder flukes to shower The dance skin of the beach here Being prepared for a meeting as chances the strawberry being Sprinkled with pepper or boy tree Sticking to refrigerators is perfect Perpetual summer sky is invaded by the foreign and invited sky of seasonal winter Their blue and gray collision forming a whirlwind from which is born the ambient Some a thousand wind drops whose voices are amplified in each snowflake's unique crystalline structure Maple trees and gray green pine shatter still glassy lava rock listen croppings devouring the ripe taste of the carbon rich freshly ground soil and sprouting fresh extremities and between sides of nourished with the tips of these virgin branches Dripping new sap which forms into spheres and draws with the cheek clicking cries into blaze iridescent amber Christmas balls whose sparkles are those of sequins on the dresses of every female So vocalist from the 1980s as they reunite for one last blast dance under pulsating stage lights Worn and spun by the whirlwind above the sun's light is an overplayed record cloak in a veil of low fidelity It pops and hisses and skips and jumps its way towards objects but in its hindrance it is now shamefully slower than sound and even the now frosting crust Things no less is the sun blushes velvet and self-conscious So there is yet the clever snow flank drift on to an elderly leaf above the grass between the bundling beach and the petri dish park in lot and propositions are simply peculiar your wager to the big league of the big ground beach I'll bet you wait, see shall they die now away You got your grass, the grass had to smack Torally knowing that his grass is completely new Made by then a thousand years take on my own Originating from an oasis of Zimbabwe Signed as desert and that he was sole keeper of this knowledge He replies curious and confident in his native Hawaiian pigeon I get lectures from once he show where I get on my end the ground shakes the hand of the snowflake And swaggles in her net that did the face Answer which he knows as a disbeliever of absurd mystical omnipotence So clairvoyance cannot be right You got your grass growing out of your soil Replies the snowflake upon taking payment of his reward That's my flavor <laughs> Hey you. 
As you wander across a field of whispering blades of grass, you notice a small cloud descending from the sky to rest directly in front of you. It smiles and begins to sing you a song. After coming across a flying woman, a fire-breathing cat, and a family of leprechauns, you've reached the limits of sanity. You notice a policeman giving out a noise pollution ticket to a rocking chair, and wonder if you should approach him for an explanation of the harrowing sights that you've recently beheld. If so, turn to chapter 2. If instead you'd like to ask the nearby talking cardboard box, turn to chapter 8. Barely dodging the laser blast, you run down the hallway into the bathroom. Without the aid of a firearm, you decide that your best weapon of defense against the robots is good old water. As you hastily barricade the door and begin to turn on all the water faucets, the angry machines are already shooting holes through the wall. But watching the water rise and overflow onto the floor, you begin to have second thoughts. Homicidal computers or not, you can't help but still think of them as your family. You suddenly consider surrender instead of destroying your only semblance of belonging. You shut off all the water and shout through the laser holes. <laughs> grazes your head, you realize that these things aren't going to listen to reason. You turn the water back on full blast and watch as it seeps under the doorway into the hall. 
When you hear loud robot screams, you open the door to see the androids thrashing around on the ground, short circuiting from the water. As you stand over them, they call out to you in an apparently random string of words and phrases. Attention! Artificially intelligent life forms! Bloodthirsty devilish derelict with white horns! Dull, dirty petals on the run from bright thorns! When the petal day breaks, it's ever mental night morns! Fake Asian! Shuffle rounds, rounds will come! A smooth step, weapon chip, protection, laceration! Black station, Black station, trap me stuck on a stick over fire. High wire, high wire, high wire, high wire, high wire, high wire, fighting wars with their own mental imagery, fashioned in the likeness of this ink block symmetry. Admiration he hides to a cricket named Jiminy, shape shifting into smoke escape out of the chimney. Stock bullshit, oh shit, shit. Mark station, red face, bad screen, cap, cap, lap, digital win, charge, shot, it breaking skull on wall. Sky high hopes that at times appear gimmicky. Right lines don't be all cats that are too finicky. The day the pen limits me, I meet my maker independently. I hope I don't croak before I finish my life sentencing. Bashy, 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 face on brick, cracking forehead on concrete, a million shots hot night, bright sun, hot street, hot dating, blood bottle, half cocked and ready for the end of it all. Walls flooded with years and years of mud, disappearing fears and lies of truth. I take a million pictures. I can't take enough pictures. I can't take enough pictures of this monolith, this hideous shit, smelling crumbling tower now. Clap cross. Sunset and sky, your medication house Be glazed in that coating of some fuzzy fog bump up and down Rock my the dark, the ride is break dance decrepitly This is what happens when my thoughts get ahead of me Steadily, readily available for consumption When clock strikes twelve, pathfinders turn to pumpkins Off to see the wizard without the squall Talk of munchkins, cities liquor with the crew of misconstrued country bumpkins OMT cremunges, dungeon of thieves Rocket and egg pop, what tricks up my sleeves Holly an animal lover, my only pet or peeves when your fragile day breaks my temperamental night grieves. So I'll walk it down in the gray, grainy, silent film ocean. You want you don't know so well. Six face flickering, lit in the darkness. Eyes wide, captivated, motionless. But while I blinks and chest breaths, zoom in close up. Censored cut, cause the wood won't stop. You there, bounding in the depth of focus. White light, not too bright, I feel nauseous. One wrong image in a row, whisper shadow. Fuck! Passes will make me throw up to silence, colorless space, invisible, weightless void. But not too dark, just nothing. 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 As the robots cough out their last gasps, you notice that one of their computer screen faces holds a swirling spiral of sparkling light. For some reason, you really wanna touch it. To touch it, turn to chapter 15 To deny your urges and instead drag the robots out to the dumpster Turn to chapter 10 When you look into the unlikely life form's eyes, you feel at ease As if through some sort of telepathic communication It seems to know all of your worries and fears Without any exchange of words, you join in a warm embrace and you find yourself tearfully pouring out your heart to this complete stranger. I'm just lying here, I'm just floating, just feeling what you did is this, 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 this. I'm just lying here, I'm just floating, tired of always thinking, what this cool, my home is now inside, 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 the layers and layers, under covers, covers and covers and fuzzy, fuzzy, stuffy. And I'm sick, and I'm sweaty, and I'm suffocating. And I go again, I'm in the dark again, and I'm gold again, and I'm scared again, and I'm lost and I need a friend again. I'm sorry, I really I'm like your house, it's homie. It's comfy, it's cozy, it's warm. I run with you and your warmth in my head. I run through dark in Hollywood, field and chilled in with you and your warmth. I kill werewolves, I jump fences, I skip across ponds like a rock. The wind is powerless against the force of my clarinet, so while the glowing energy is the energy that you gave me. Save my life every second. You're my guide. You lead me back to you. When you finally manage to calm yourself down a little bit, you plead to your new friend to explain how the world you used to know was turned into this strange place in which you now find yourself. 
Leading you by the hand along a shiny snakeskin walkway, the creature starts to tell you a story. Early one sunny Saturday, we to the telephone. It was Brian, all he did was scream. I said, Jeez, Brian, please try and calm down a little bit, cause I can hardly understand a single thing. And then he said, Just come over, just come over right now. If I tell you on the phone, you won't believe me. As I neared the front gate, I began to shake. I was afraid that my eyes deceived me. When I regained my wits, just enough to speak, I raised my voice to the sky and yelled, Brian, hey, just what the hell's going on with you? He said, What's it look like? I'm fine. I almost cracked my pants and did the boogie dance. I just couldn't believe what he was doing. He was soaring through the air, doing loop de loops, zooming like some type of superhuman. I said, Come back down here, talk to me, man, and explain to me exactly how you do that. As he drifted to the ground, he had the sky scratch his head and said, Actually, I really wish I knew that. You see, earlier this morning, I learned that I could float as I woke up lying a foot above my bed. And so I opened my window, flew into the air. And then I called him to make sure I wasn't dead I played it, teach me how, he replied I don't know the trap Say, come on, I don't be greedy, share with me, I also wanna find Tell me your secret, I need to know, I'll throw a fudgy face And look at the ground, my feet weren't touching it I'm standing here live in front of the home of Brian Maxwell Who, as you can see, is flying Of course we were skeptical when we first heard this report, but Hey, hey, I'm, I'm flying Hey, look at me, holy Toledo getting out of it In front of this huge cloud I just kept looking at it and then I realized that it wasn't a plane I brought out some advertisement campaign A human being was actually flying Into a truck I ran out of the street and I saw this crowd on it We were looking at the sky, same as me I saw a lot of people flying I could see their happy faces over my head Emotions were from each other I wasn't dreaming, I wasn't my bed I felt like if I were inside one of my dreams that I had as a child The ugly one could fly and the smart one could fly too No discrimination at the sky The media, government, constitution Stop at this human air pollution I felt this need, I was so eager to be there I closed my eyes, thinking about being with them When I opened my eyes, I saw My anger, loneliness, heartbeat in slander Don't earth and you took my hand so gently So tender, I was flying Cause my heart wanted So as I look into your eyes I saw myself I found that dreams The dreams are unreachable Aren't are not unreachable Aren't are not Aren't are not The dreams are unreachable Aren't are not unreachable Good morning As many of you at home are already aware People all over the country As well as throughout the rest of the world Have suddenly accurate the ability as the tale reaches its conclusion, your companion turns to you with a look of sincerity and says, I'm sorry. As you're led into a big building marked homicidal robot headquarters, a gate shuts and locks behind you. Sorry for what you ask. I'm sorry for deceiving you. It replies. You see, I'm a secret agent for those homicidal robots that you escaped earlier. You begin to notice that once again, you're being approached by laser gun building robots and that now you have another important decision to make. To fight the robots, turn to chapter 6. To attempt to hide by jumping inside a strangely pulsating doorway marked teleporter under maintenance, use at your own risk. Turn to chapter 12. You peer inside the stinky dumpster to find a shocking and revolting sight. A deformed, quivering, snot-covered beast child who looks no more than two lies staring up at you, screaming and clutching at the air. It babbles in an alien tongue, but as chance would have it, right there in the dumpster lies a fancy-looking device marked Universal Language Translator. As you tune the dials, the creature's speech morphs in and out of comprehension. So I found myself once again looking up from the bottom to the top. Oh, Christian, you're a foul fair weather maiden. Go ahead, just get me a Life for your cases. Take a second look towards your direction. Oh, when we had it again, I remember now. I forgot now. We've been pretty posy in the pitch dark park. Oh, I can smell you clearly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I remember now. I remember when we got beneath you and you were top of me, even in my face. 
Translator. The freakish child's voice is heard in English. Please. It rasps. Before I die, I request only that someone listen to my tale. Looking around, you realize that that someone must mean you. Before you have time to oblige, the little creature bursts into song. Finished, the dumpster child appears much more at ease. Thank you for hearing my story. You tweezes. In return for this, the only act of kindness I've ever been shown in my whole life, I will help you. I happen to possess the magical power of teleportation. Unfortunately, I'm sick and wounded, so I can't tell you exactly where you would be teleported. On the other hand, if you remain in my company, I must warn you that I'm indebted to the carrying out of certain duties. Your curiosity and sense of adventure tells you to take the travel offer and turn to chapter 15. But then you remember that your family was replaced by robots, 
And you realize that the putrid mess in front of you is the closest thing to a friend that you have in this cruel, crazy world. Making you consider just staying where you are and turning to chapter 8. You're a giant snowflake careening through a swirling tunnel of color and sound. You speed forward faster and faster until you explode into pure energy, saturating into the universe and then shrinking back into a piece of house dust. You look over to see that the mountain in the distance has a face and that it's not the mountain at all, but a huge rhinoceros coming towards you while blowing a big blue bubblegum bubble. The bubble pops. The force of the explosion knocks you head over heels into a tub of chocolate sauce. You notice that your arm is bleeding. Looking closer into the wound, you see a little maggot that starts to sink. On this island, we can end this short timeline. Just doing what I can do here. A smile, shh, a big a smile. I guess you a smile, sweet, sweet heart, sweet heart, sweet heart. Am I too much? I'm beautiful. I'm a maggot. I'm pure. I'm clean. I'm sane. Just wanna go inside of you. Just wanna touch you to eat with my brains. I'll sing, I'll sing, I'll sing. Up on all in freedom. Safe enough. I'm a bit smart, hey now, satisfied myself to say I hear myself I am beautiful, I am sensually, I am sane, I am manga At this point you're just about crapping your pants Watching helplessly as all your basic notions of reality melt away before you All of a sudden you're standing on an old wooden dock You walk to the end of it, through a thick fog And when you look down into the water, you see a miniature sailboat. You kneel to get a closer look, and then you notice a poem written in gold ink on the little sail. Empty boat with a sail, whose ropes from ass, who would look so cool wearing a sailor's cap. Thinking that's the way you're bouncing, tempted at night, locked up clean. Public domain, cabin full 
Only stock with that set just to be a captain You don't need credentials Now let us step from the land to the pit to the deck Let's hurry folks, surely we'll track our track Empty, fill, empty, fill, empty, fill, empty, fill surface of the water, mouth open, swallowing the little boat whole. Before it turns and swims awake, it looks up at you and says, By the way, you're dreaming. Finally, it all makes sense. The talking animals, the killer robots, the teleportation. Your life isn't really unraveling at the seams. It's all just a dream. You're about to pinch yourself when it dawns on you. You have no idea what you'll be when you wake up. You can't even remember your name. To pinch yourself and wake up, turn back to chapter one. To not pinch yourself, turn to chapter 18. You shouldn't have done that. You've been teleported to a desert wasteland. Limping towards you is a crazy-eyed man in a torn, fading a bloody military uniform. Pointing a finger and barking questions to which you have no answers. What is a man without a planet to stand on? What is the world if it doesn't have girls? What is a crowd made up of individuals? What is a family without a man? What if we solve the problem by burning the past? Personally, I think we took a wrong turn And the only way to go back is to scrap the stack And start from scratch the maggots in my festering well to rub out the hat What is a man without a planet to stand on? What is the world if it doesn't have girls? What is a crowd made up of individuals? What is a family without the mom What do we do when we all start starving? Will you choose to rob and kill or to die? Do you think you'll wish that you'd done something different During your life before it went haywire? Will you sink as low as anything from the garbage? Will you sell your body for a place to sleep? Will you sell your baby? Will you cheat your family? Will you ever feel safe again? What is a man without a planet to stand on? What is the world if it doesn't have girls? What is a crowd made up of individuals? What is a family without a man? What is a man without a planet to stand on? What is the world if it doesn't have girls? What is a crowd made up of individuals? What is a family without a mom? Dumb. You stare back at the weird army guy Until suddenly, he smiles and puts a reassuring hand on your shoulder Don't worry He says, as he pulls a big grenade out of his pocket There's a way out of all of this Me and you are gonna die Having already escaped death today You're not looking forward to the prospect of getting blown up now With all of the willpower you can muster He search for a few words of reason to calm down the soldier Who is now one hair away from pulling the pin out of the grenade I've been breaking things lately So you tell me these castle bricks are prone to crumbling Arrowheads tell me that history is full of pain Once we'll try something bad happens But feathers are nice and feathers are soft When you're covered in hot black tar Then they're not you were there for me all the time And then you split I see your fucking smile in my mind Every day I get caught up in cracks I watch up Malaysia I remember how we hugged each other like two lines
lost kids in the middle of a dark night forest Do you go there sometimes too? I know you got your right together somewhere doing something real good And you still might no matter when I find the perfect love to fit my hand It will be so you with traces of you I see you fading by my simple goal Traces of you will always remain so In a pool of fish innards on the grimy sidewalk In the third world stop hiding you're a monster with no medical fit or any disfigured face Come back to the murk with me Play in the dirt with me Yes, I realize that I myself haven't been able to fully wash off your makeup from my clothing But I'm willing to go naked, let's just break these links I've been stealing roadsides, come help me Come help me, can lay a belt, me build me bigger Just laying myself up on the factory line Package your time with wine, should be as media mail No insurance necessary, we are slow to inhale Whatever the trip is down, it's impossible to fail It's a big silly get your way, it's a boss, screaming at trails I don't care, wherever my blood bleeds No matter how ugly, always my blood bleeds And no matter what we, I'll make up this country Or when we got deep, we'll rest up to one tree No matter how my deep, no matter how ugly We make all of the street, and all the different leads Everything is lovely, la 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 something calming in your rambling. The soldier has collapsed into a deep sleep right at your feet, muttering under his breath. Curious, you kneel down to hear what he's saying. Decide that being in some unknown desert without food or water, you should be concerned with more than sleep talking of a deranged soldier. Looking over your surroundings, you notice another human figure a couple of sand dunes away. As you warily approach, you begin to see that it's some sort of uniform officer, apparently leading a marching drill, but oddly there's no one else in sight. To your side, you hear a muffled yell. It seems to be coming from inside a big trash dumpster. To investigate the garbage, turn to chapter 10. To try your luck with the obviously disturbed officer, turn to chapter 2. Ding, 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 ding! You win! Having chosen to fearlessly embrace your dream, you're no longer held back by the trappings of ordinary reality. A reality which never really belonged to you. A reality to which you never really belonged. Leaving behind the past, you grip the reins of your magical dream horse and gallop off into a future that you will create. The end.
Well, that was the album. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Till next time. This is the mole. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.